if we take small amounts of money, every time we get some money, it will add up over time and we can save for our emergency fund. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would subscribe to this channel, click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment and let me know what do you think of this video? Is it helpful? Is it a great idea? I'm very curious to know. And would you share this video because there may be someone that can use this content also. And would you click the notification bell so you may be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you for being here. Welcome to everyone and I hope everyone is doing well. And like I said, if we take small amounts of money, every time we get some money, we can save for our emergency fund. And I've created savings challenges to help someone see that you can save no matter what your income is. If you get paid once a week, every two weeks, once a month, or if you're an entrepreneur, you can still save. Sometimes, depending on our income, we have to take small amounts of money, like this $20 bill. And as we keep saving, being patient, disciplined, and consistent, it will add up over time. And that's what we have to do. Sometimes we just have to do it that way. Sometimes we don't always have a whole lot of money to put away. But out of whatever we get, we can take small amounts of that money. And, you know, sometimes, like say for instance, you just get paid once a month. Well, you can take that amount of money take um like say for instance there's four weeks in a month maybe like take a twenty dollar bill and four times twenty is eighty dollars so you can take eighty dollars out and save that every month and sometimes during the month we get money if we just get paid once a month or however we get paid we at times get extra money somebody may give us some so take something out of that also we can find money. Let me share a little testimony with you on how I found some money. Um, there's someone I know that loves this. this there's this gas station where I live. And somebody I know loves their coffee. And they wanted me to stop and pick up some coffee for them. And I did not feel like stopping in that gas station and get a cup of coffee. I just didn't feel like it. I thought, okay, okay, let me go ahead and do this and, and I'm always thinking what you pay for this cup of coffee you can get a whole can or a jar and have more coffee but anyway I went on in there I went inside the gas station I made the coffee and went up to, to the counter to pay for it well when you walk up there they have a place you stand and it's a little distance from where you stand to the counter well nobody was behind the counter yet but I just walked up to the counter so when they come I would already be there and as I'm standing there this young boy about mm, I say 9 or 10 says to me excuse me you dropped something and I turned around and I saw nothing but 20s on the floor <laughs> so I turned around, I, I bent down and I scooped those 20s up and I told him thank you. And then the uh, person came and checked me out and I got that money and my coffee and I, got, I paid for the coffee and I got out of there and I went to my car and after I got out the lot, off the lot, I um, pulled over to somewhere else and it was $280 and nothing but 20s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and and you know it's funny because 
The little boy was looking at me like I was crazy. Like, she dropped all that money. I did not drop that money. And I didn't see the money as I walked from standing here to the counter. I didn't see it. That, I didn't see it there. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Sometimes we can find money. <laughs> so, you know, when we find money, we can put some money towards our emergency fund. Okay. All right. But I just, you know, that had been kind of been on my mind to share with you all, to encourage you all, you know, and if you're not making a lot of money, you have low income, find ways to increase your income. There's ways out there. You just have to find it. Go on YouTube. You can, uh, you know, there's another side hustle that I that have been kind of watching and it's making money bouquets. You can do something like that. <laughs> you know, start out small. But yeah, you can do things. There's lots of ways to increase your income. So try to find it. So today's savings challenge is savings challenge number six, which I call my coupon folder holder, whatever you want to call it, which has seven slots. And I've been stuffing this every week with $20 bills. And, and after this stuff, it equals $140. Now, I've completed this three times already. And I took that money and I invested it in the stock market. But if you don't have an emergency fund, you can take it and put it towards your emergency fund. And I was in Dollar Tree yesterday and they're beginning to get new supplies, things like this in there. Now, you don't have to use one with just seven slots you can find one with more and the more slots you get the more money you can put in okay so if you can't find this in dollar tree go to walmart target go on amazon sct more i know i saw some on amazon they were a dollar 25 but they have some on there and they have more slots also so that can help you save towards your emergency emergency fund so when we take small amounts of money every time we get some money we it adds up over time so let me show you how much i've saved so far 20 40 now remember i said this is the this will be the fourth time i'm starting on this okay and when we're saving money in our house i've said this over and over and over make sure we keep it in a location that is a secure location that is waterproof, fireproof, and theft proof. Okay, so that's forty dollars, and I'm adding this twenty, which is going to be sixty dollars. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, and when we're saving money, let's just keep it to ourselves. We don't have to broadcast this. Okay, now. Oh, let me go ahead and. What's my email? Let me go ahead and record this. This is um, Saturday, July 13th. And I call this coupon holder savings challenge. And we added $20. And the total now is $60. Okay. All right. So... Something like this, you don't have to use this, but this can give you an idea, okay? Someone had dropped me a comment and told me they found a business card holder that holds business cards. And I forgot how many they said it held. Was it 500? I forgot, I mean. But things like that can help you, you know? Just do something. Somebody's mowing the grass and y'all can hear it. <laughs> okay, so just do something and it will help you over time to save for emergency. So if I wasn't investing this into the stock market, this would go towards my emergency fund, which I already have. So that's why any money that I'm saving is going towards my, in my brokerage account. Now, um, what you want to also do is make sure you 
Just be patient, consistent, and disciplined. It adds up over time. You know, this money that I'm using is a tool for me to make these videos. And I don't even think about going shopping, going and spending it. And that's another thing we need to live on less than what we make, stay out of consumer debt, and just keep saving because emergency comes. They can't be avoided. And when we have money to tap into, we'll be glad that we did. Okay, so thank you for doing, joining me. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope this video is helpful. Drop me a comment and let me know. Thank you for stopping by. Have a safe, wonderful day, and happy savings.